What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today I want to talk about the offense that I am going to run in my first franchise in Madden 06. I figure since this is my first franchise to get used to, you know, gameplay mechanics and the franchise itself, I might as well pick an offense that I am interested in and see if I can pull it off in this game. And it'll be a whole lot of fun to draft for, trade for, all that good stuff. And that's going to be the original run and shoot. We're talking the original, original. Back in the early 90s with, you know, Warren Moon, Houston Oilers, and all of them. And there are two playbooks in this game that really fit what I want to do. Now, yes, the game has created a playbook feature, but you can't use them in franchise mode, unfortunately. So I have to pick an offense or a playbook that has what I'm looking for. At least in terms of formations. Now, there's going to be some of the original run-and-shoot plays aren't going to be in here. In fact, quite a bit of them are not, which is fine. I just need a broad look of the offense. I don't need it to be exact. I just need the formations to be exactly what I want, which are much easier to find than actual concepts, and allows me to throw deep all that good stuff. And let's see if we can pull it off in this game. Now, there are two playbooks that have what I am looking for. In terms of formations, like I said, this is the original run and shoot. I need two formations. In this case, it's single back, four wide receiver spread. You see the two outside receivers are on the line, and your two slot receivers are off the line. That's what I want to look. There are several other two-by-two, two, four wide sets in this game, but they're all a little bit different. You may have you know, your slots on the line and your outside guys off of it, or vice versa. I mean, there's just a lot of different combinations. But I need this exact look because over time, once I get used to whichever playbook I'm going to pick, I'm going to move around my slot receivers like the original run and shoot used to do. So this playbook has it, and I also need single back trips wide receiver. It's the exact same setup, except your left slot receiver is over on the right side. We will talk about the second playbook here in a little bit, but let's talk about this one. Let's go to the four wide receiver spread. This is the St. Louis Rams playbook, and let's just briefly go over what they have. Over on the far left, you got Bruce option. I like the look of it. It's got a run and shoot feel to it. You got an option routes on the far left. I'm going to see if I can get used to those. I think, I don't know how the game programs it to where the wide receiver knows exactly what to do against certain coverages. I'm not going to worry about it because I know you can't really fix that. But you still can use playmaker routes and stuff if needed, if I don't like it or whatnot. But I like the look of it. Then you got a pull and play with halfback sprint. And the only downside to this playbook is it's got a, a few more play action than I need because the run and shoot just didn't use hardly any play action at all. So PA halfback streak I would never use in the game unless it's like off turnovers do something a little bit different, you know, like I do in instantly 06. Then we go to next up is the Rams mid-press. I like that look okay. You got six-man protection. That's really old school, but I still wouldn't mind seeing the halfback going out doing something. Of course, I could do that with all hot routes and stuff. That's the thing with Madden. I have the green light to do a lot of audibles, hot routes and stuff, because in this play football games, you got the home field advantage and stuff, which I enjoy using, which means it's tough to pull some of that off on the road, but man, I don't have to worry about it. So I can do some hot round however I wish. Now, I don't want to be one of those guys that does like five hot routes per play. I mean, if you're going to do that, just pick a different play. But at least I have a little more freedom to handle with some of these routes, especially with custom hot routes and stuff. But anyway, Rams mid press, I kind of like the look of it. Jackson counter, that's just your basic counter play. Then you got another play action. I love the double crossers. I think all that looks great, but I would only use it as a change up. It wouldn't be part of the base offense. Next, we got slots attack. I love this play. Almost as is. But I got five wide receivers going out doing stuff. It looks pretty good. I'm all for it. Now, halfback sweep, I got another run play if I need to use it. Now, the way I'm going to run this offense, I'm going to throw the ball a ton. Unless I got just perfect numbers in the box where I got five or less defenders in there, then I can run the ball. I can just do a formation audible up the gut and get some yards. Otherwise, we're going to be throwing a ton. And then you got slot options. You got two option route options in the slot receivers, which is really cool. I would definitely use that in the base offense. Wide receiver short post, I'm not really sure. I'd have to practice those double post uh, routes. Then you got basic halfback dive. Then you got another play action play, which I just don't know if I'm going to use, but... 
look what it got. You have the switch concept on the left, and you got another switch concept, more or less, on the right. So it's, at least it has the look of a run-and-shoot play, but it's just play action. Then you got wide receiver deep end. You got more deep stuff here, which I really like the look of it. Then you got a halfback wheel. Looks really good. I definitely use some of that. Zig outs, I'd probably do some hot routing there, but at least you got some deep stuff to go with it. So you have, if I'm not mistaken, one, two, three, four, five. You got 15 plays out of this formation, which is quite a bit, which I'm more than happy with. Now, I'm not going to cover every single one of these plays because... I don't consider myself an expert in any of this just because I'm brand new to the game and I don't know how, how which routes work against what. But here's what you're going to see me do quite a bit. Okay, we'll take example Bruce option and we'll go up against, hopefully we'll see a lot of dime. We'll force a lot of defenses into a dime look so maybe we can run up the middle. But anyway, we'll go up against uh, just random play, banner zone, it doesn't matter. Now what you're going to see me do quite a bit is I'm going to do a lot of slide protection and normally you do slide protection based off what the defense is doing. But a lot of times, if I know if I'm going to run to the right side of the field, I want to do the original half roll that the quarterbacks used back then. So when I'm going to do a slide protection to the right, I want to roll out a little bit like this. And then I'm going to go over the top or wherever I got to go. But I love the idea of doing something like that. Now, since this quarterback is a righty, that's what the righty quarterback's done in the run to shoot. They'll kind of go over here a little bit, and this is going to get picked off. I haven't got sacked. But you get my point. I want to try to do a lot of half-roll stuff. Get real old school with it. Try to get as close as I can to the offense. So, and that's definitely going to come in handy when we do trips looks. Now, I'm sitting right here. If I want, I can bring this guy over. I already know they're playing zone, but then I can do slide protection. Then I can come over here and go to that guy, and then I'm off to the races. That's run and shoot stuff right here. You motion a guy over to see if they're going man or zone. I don't have to do that, but I'm going to add it just because it gives you that pure run and shoot look. And then the, the slide protection to the right, I'm going to roll over to the right some. And then I got a three-man concept over here, and I'm just going to go to whoever's open. It just kind of depends on what the defense is calling, but this is going to be a whole lot of fun for me doing stuff like this. So again, you're going to see me do a lot of half rolls, motion guys over. Just whatever I got to do, you know, to get up the field and make some plays. So I'm really excited about that. So I bring up this playbook because, again, the only thing that worries me a little bit, it's not a worry, but I got a lot more play action than I need. I wouldn't mind using these plays for something else, like more drop back stuff. But they're there. I may be able to make good use out of them down the road. Now let's talk about single back trips wide receiver. You don't have to do any motioning for this. It was only when you was in the 2x2 uh, the two two look is when they would motion. But let's look at the plays in here. Wide receiver deep end. Looks like a great run and shoot look in play when you got a bunch of deep stuff going there. Then you got slam. Then you got a play action play and PA streak. Then you got a sideline drag. I'm loving this play. I've got the full around with this. We can go ahead and full around with this one. We can do some half roll here. That's going to get picked off. Oh, no. We're going to get a touchdown out of that one. Good little play there. Anyway, awesome stuff. Let's get back out of here and go look at some more plays. Let's go here. And uh, slaying up PA streak. Next up, sideline drag. Halfback sprint. Just another good run play. Uh, double slant. This would be a good goal line or red zone type play or a third and short. I can see that as a possibility. Slants work really good in this game, by the way. That'll be one of my main man beaters. Do you need a slot corner? You notice a slot corner? Let's use my little tool here. Haven't got to use that any yet. Let's bring this over. This is my little tool, by the way. If anybody wants to know what it is, it's over on the site. You go right here. And then you see this little half roll right here. That is some awesome stuff right there. That is, it does a roll by itself. So if you are... Uh, if you don't move the joystick whatsoever, I know some of you may already know, know this, but humor me. If you don't use the joystick when you snap the ball, like all I'm going to do is press the snap button, and he automatically rolls over there, which is pretty cool. Awesome. I think that's really neat. So it already has it in there. Unfortunately, that's the only play in this playbook that has it, at least for the two formations that I'm going to run out of. 
But slot corner, I'm going to use this a ton. That's a great zone con zone beam concept on the right. Then you got a simple man beater on the left. Half bag draw. Cross up looks pretty good. You can do like a little mesh look. Comebacks, good deep route type stuff. Wide receiver hook out looks pretty good. That would be another half roll thing I would use for that one. Let's try it some. We can go over to the right a little bit, see what's open. This guy looks open right here. Get some yards. What else we got? Looks like we're going man. Now what I can do here is... There we go. You could switch playmakers. I'm holding down the right trigger button. I think that's what it's called, the trigger button. It's the big button. Yeah, it's right trigger. So if I want to have my triangle, my post round to be my playmaker, I just got to hold down the trigger button and then press triangle, and it does it. But if I want to do... Bruce on the far left, I can go back to him, and then I can do a quick something like that. I can do a streak over the top, fade route, may get six points out of that one. That's good defense. But I did figure that out, which is very handy. Like, as of right now, my playmaker is hold on the right, but if I want to do a, you know, a shallow over here, if I see zone, I can go like right here, pick up some good yards, good stuff. Meanwhile, that's going to be a big play in the playbook. Let's go to... Uh, next up, the wide receiver hook out, and then the halfback swing. This will be a nice little change-up. I can see myself using that quite a bit. And so we can count this. We got one, two, three, four. We got 12 plays, 12 and 15. So that's 27 plays. I would keep the entire offense to these two formations alone. The entire offense can come from that. And if I got to do some goal line something, I can change it up if needed. But I want to stick to the pure run and shoot as best as I can. Now let's go over to the other playbook that has the same two formations. And we'll see if that one may be a better fit for what we're trying to do. And here we are with the second playbook that I'm kind of going back and forth with. And that is the Washington Redskins playbook. Here's your single back uh, sets you go over to the left and then it goes straight to your trips wide receiver look and your four wide receiver spreads so We can go here now if I'm not mistaken Let's go to my quarterbacks because one thing I've always wanted to try to do is Ramsey There's Mark Brunel. He's a lefty quarterback Let's put in him because if I ever get a lefty quarterback draft and trade in for lefty I'm gonna do rolls to the left as well. I th I'll have to go back and look at the old run and shoot stuff I don't remember if the right-handed quarterbacks ever roll to their left much if they did, then I can flip some of these plays as well. Either way, we'll go back to four wide receiver spread. Let's just see what we got here. We got mid attack. I'm not, I don't remember if this was in the other playbook or not, but you got draw, comebacks was in the other one. Double smash is a new thing. You got PA slot crosses, that was in the other one. A gardener option, I'm pretty sure that was in the other one. Slant flats is really good. Like I said, the slants are killer against man. We can go up against a Basic man play. You can go here. Just simple 10 yards. We'll go back. Then we got wide receiver deep end. You got pitch and you got smash post. So there's a lot of similar things in here. But if you count, we got one, two, three, four. And that's it. So we got 12 plays out of this formation. But we only got one play action play, so I'm not wasting much. But the other four wide receiver, or the two by two, four wide receiver spread formation in the other playbook has three more plays to it. So I don't see a, a negative or a positive to either one. It's like a, you know, it's like a take your pick type of situation. To be honest, I probably like the other one a little bit better, but it's, you know, I'll just have to play around with them some more. Now we can look at the trips wide receiver look. And slot middle, I like that a whole lot. Halfback trap, wide receiver deep end, I'm pretty sure that was in the other one. Maybe I don't think it was from the trips look, but I like it a whole lot. Comebacks, they got it's just the trips version slammed. You got PA flanker stretch, that is, I think, the only play action play in this formation. Cross up, that was in the other one. Wide receiver post corner, I like it pretty good. That's got a nice run and shoot feel. Halfback screen, you got a pattern option. You got an option route from your one of your slot receivers. You got a hook out. And that is it. So let me count this. One, two, three, four, 
four. So there are more plays in the Rams playbook than in this one. There's three more plays. So it kind of comes down to what I'm looking for. To be honest, the Rams playbook has a little more run and shoot. I think it does. It's got the, the one play that's actually got the half roll in it and also has more option rounds because I want to fool around with those option rounds a little bit more and just see how they work, if they work well at all in this game. I think they kind of do okay. And if for whatever reason I don't like them, I can always just do my playmaker thing with those. And I think it had more deep stuff. To me, this has got a more air raidish type things to it. Of course, the comebacks looks pretty good. So, I don't know. I'll go back and forth, and I'll figure it out uh, which one that I want. But I think both of them are more than enough for me to do what I got to do. So, that gives me 20, what, 24 plus plays to work with with either one. So, I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Go in the franchise mode. Try to build a franchise around the run and shoot offense I, i'll probably do something basic on defense because i'm not too concerned about that i'll learn defense in general as i go but i think it's gonna be really neat try to draft for it and such i haven't decided which team i'm going to go with i don't know if it matters too much i want to pick a team that's not all that great so you could build on it it's like this is a franchise that needs a spark something to get it going so i'll probably pick a team that's average to below average and see if I can do something with it. Now, the roster doesn't have to fit this perfectly because you can always trade. You can always sign free agents. It's not like any somebody football where you got to sit and wait a year or two years or three years to get the players you need. I could technically go get the guys I want right then and there via a lot of trading and signing and such. So I'll figure that out here in the next couple of days, and then we're going to roll with the franchise. So I hope you are as excited as I am about this. This is the first time I've actually got to try to run the actual run and shoot to a T, and I can get pretty close in this game. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.